Hello friends, my name is Tushar and today I'm going to talk about level order traversal in reverse direction. So the question is, given a binary tree, you need to print out the level order traversal of this binary tree going from bottom to up. So for this uh, binary tree here, I, am, I would be printing 70, 80, 90, 40, 50, 60, 20, 30 and then 10. Notice how this is different from our regular level order traversal where we print 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90. So to solve this question, we will need uh, a stack and a queue. Again, queue is a data structure which is first in and first out. So the element which goes first into the queue is the first to come out. And stack is a leaf for last in, first out. Element which goes last into the stack is first to come out. Let's see how this will work. So this is my queue. And this is my stack. And my current is not right now. So what I do is first I do is put my root into my queue. Then I go into a while loop while this queue is not empty. So I pop from the queue so current becomes 10. First I check is if current has a right child so it does 10 has a right child so I push that into the queue. Then I check if current has a left child so current does so I put that push that into the queue and then I push this current into the stack so current goes into the stack. Then I again pop from the top of the queue so that 30 comes out. Now we check if 30 has a right child, it does. So I push that into the bottom of the queue so 60 goes here. And then ch check if 30 has a right, left child, 30 does not have a left child. So I push 30 in here into the stack. Then again I pop from top of the queue so 20 comes out. 20 has a right child so that goes into the queue. 20 has a left child 40 so that goes into the queue and then I push 20 into the stack. Then again take out from the top of the queue so 60 comes so current becomes 60. 60 does not have a right child but 60 does have a left child 90 so that goes into the queue and 60 goes into the stack. Now again take out from the top of the queue so my current becomes 50. 50 has a 50 has a right child so that's 80 and 50 has a left child so that's 70 and then I push 50 into the stack. So finally I take out 40. 40 does not have right or left child so I just, pu just push 40 into the stack. Then I take out 90. Current becomes 90. 90 does not have right or left child so I just push that into the stack. Similarly 80 comes out and 80 does not have right or left child and then 70 comes out and 70 does not have right or left child. So finally when the queue is empty we go out of the for loop and then we print the elements of this stack one by one popping from the top. So 70 is printed first then 80 then 90 40 50 60 20 30 and 10. So this is our level order traversal in reverse direction. 70, 80, 90, 40, 50, 60, 20, 30, and 10. How much time would this take? It would take O of n time to execute this algorithm because we are visiting every node once. The amount of space it will take is again O of n. So space, so time complexity is O of n and space complexity is also O of n for this algorithm. Next. Let's look at the code for this algorithm. Let's quickly go through the code for this algorithm. Code is extremely simple and it exactly does what I described. The name of the function is level order traversal in reverse takes root of the binary tree. If the root is null, it just returns. Otherwise initializes a stack and a queue, add the root to the queue. And then we keep doing this while queue is not empty. Where, we, where root becomes uh, queue's top and if root has right we off add that to the queue and root has left it we add that to the queue and then push the root into the stack and then finally we print elements from the stack one by one. Let's try this code with this example here. My root is 10 initially so root is not empty so we initialize stack and queue and then we add 10 into the queue. So while queue is not empty so queue is not empty so root becomes q.pol. So root becomes uh, uh, top of the queue and we take that element out of the queue. So root becomes 10. 10 here has a right. 10's right is not null. So 10 has a right child. So we offer that to the queue. So 30 gets added to the queue. And 
10 also has a left child, root left is not null, so we offer that to the queue. So we offer uh, 20 to the queue, and then we push uh, 10 into the stack. So 10 goes into the stack. So we go again top of the while loop, queue is still not empty, so root becomes uh, top of the queue, so that root becomes 30, and we remove that from the queue. 30 has a right child, so we push that into the queue, and 30 also has a left child, so we push that into the queue, and then we push 30 into the stack. Queue is still not empty, so root becomes top of the queue, so root becomes 20. 20 has a right child 50, so that goes into the queue. 20 has a left child 40, so that goes into the queue, and then 20 goes into the stack. Queue is again not empty, so root becomes 70. And we remove that from the queue. 70 does not have a right or left child, so we just push 70 into the queue. Similarly, 60 does not have left or right child, so 60 goes into the queue, and then 50 goes into the queue, and then 40 goes into the queue. And then finally, my queue is empty into the stack. So finally, my queue is empty. So I come out of my come out of this while loop and go through elements of the stack one by one, pop them, print the data till the stack is uh, not empty. So it prints 40, 50, 60, 70, 20, 30, and 10. 40, 50, 60, 70, 20, 30, and 10. So this is my level order traversal in reverse. If you want the code for this problem, it's, it's in the description of this video. You can also go to my GitHub link, github.com mission piece interview wiki. And you could check out my YouTube channel, youtube.com user tushara2525. Thanks for watching this video.